Coming up in the show, we round up all the action from the fourth European qualifying window. There's high drama from around the continents as we focus on Africa, the Americas and Asia. And we have our top plays from around the globe. saw an unbeaten Spanish side travel to Kiev to take on Ukraine. It was the home team who impressed early, racing to a 13-point lead in the second quarter. Looking for a way through, and how about that? But Spain fought back in the latter stages of the second, outscoring Ukraine and trailing by just two at half-time. Three-point attempt from Aquila, and it's a one-point game now. A star name making their World Cup qualifiers bow was Atlanta Hawks player Alex Len, and the seven-foot-one centre was a threat throughout. However, it was LA Laker prospect Svatislav Miheluk who stole the show. The 21-year-old had 22 points on the night, including five three-pointers. It's another three, it's Mikhailiuk again. Ukraine pulling off a shock 76-65 victory, ending Spain's six consecutive wins in the process. Eurobasket champion Slovenia were in desperate need of a win when they played Latvia in Riga. In what was a rematch of their 2017 Eurobasket quarter-final, little separated the sides in the first half, with Gaspar Vidmar impressing for Slovenia. Nice pass and Vidmar throws it down. And Janas Tima doing the same for the home side. If Tima looking to respond to three of his own, he does just that. Latvia's four-point halftime advantage had disintegrated by the end of the third, but a strong fourth from the home side put the game out of Slovenia's reach. Turkey made it three straight wins in Ankara as they fought off the challenge of Montenegro. They had Jedi Osman to thank, whose 18 points set the tone for their win. Oh, my goodness! Jedi Osman in the open floor flushes it with two hands. A partisan crowd roared their team to a 79-69 victory. After suffering their first defeat of the qualifiers in Kiev, Spain were looking to get back to winning ways as they entertained Latvia. And things were going all the home side's way in the first half as they rushed into a 14-point lead by the break. Spain offensively looking so comfortable right now. But despite being 18 points behind at one stage, Latvia rallied. Stroniex to Tima for the dunk. They're within single digits. Ronald Zakis then put Latvia ahead with just 12 seconds remaining. But they couldn't stop Kino Colum saving Spain at the death. Colum throws it up and lays it in. Here in Spain are going to win the game. Spain now need to wait till the next window in November to confirm qualification. We'll approach these games the way we always do. It isn't easy. The other teams are very tough, especially in the second round, so you have to be prepared. Turkey travelled to reigning Eurobasket champion Slovenia, looking to take another step towards China. Scotty Wilbeck and Furkan Korkmaz and Jedi Osman combined for a huge 65 points for the visitors. Nice move that time from Teddy Osman. Slovenia stayed within reach of the Turks until the fourth, when Wilbeck and drained a pair of three-pointers that put the game out of reach. And banks in the three. From then on, the victory was secured, and Turkey claimed an 86-77 win, leaving Slovenia on the brink after suffering their fifth consecutive defeat. We started really well. The first half was great and we were fighting hard. We continued to play well in the seconds, but I think they had a deeper bench and were more experienced. The final game in Group I saw Montenegro beat Ukraine by 90-84. Spain is still in pole position and have almost confirmed a place in China. Turkey's two wins sees them move into second, while Slovenia are rock bottom of the group. 
a team of NBA stars, Canada took on Brazil, looking to make a statement and did just that, thanks to the play of Kelly Olynyk. Olynyk rips the cords from deep. Cruising to an 85-77 win. They're a veteran team. They're not going to lay down if you go up 10, 12, 13 points. So, uh, you know, we knew they are going to make a run. They're going to hit some shots. Elsewhere, the USA continued their qualification campaign with an impressive display against Uruguay. They stormed away to seal a 58-point victory. Argentina extended their winning streak to four as they beat Mexico away. Facundo Campazzo was the star man on the night in the 78-74 win. Venezuela continued their march to China against Dominican Republic, but would need a basket in the dying seconds to send the game to overtime. Julian puts it on the floor, gets all the way to the basket, ties the game. The home team took the win and moved a step closer to qualification. Here's how the group stand after eight games. The USA thrashed Panama 78-48 to claim top spot in Group E, while Canada picked up an away win over Chile on game day eight to top Group F. Here are the top plays from the Americas. Three on one break. Oh, lovely no look pass to Ion. Find some more. There's a step along the baseline. Finishes with authority. Look at this. Samora has the step. Now the alley -oop. And edge him. Puts a hurting on that rim. Again, USA doing such a great job of helping and recovering as Gaskins throws the lob and Javier Carter throws it down. Wow. And Bill goes up. Oh my goodness me! Gabriel Deck just came flying in. Two basketball giants went head-to-head -head on game day seven in Group J, as star-studded Croatia played host to the undefeated Lithuania. Bolstered by a host of NBA talent, including Bojan Bogdanovic, Dario Saric, and Ivica Zubac, the Croatians meant business. And although Zubac's presence was felt immediately... Steps through and powers it home. They'll get the crowd going. Two sides could not be separated as the first quarter ended 21 all. Lithuania piled on the pressure in the second. And you now get the easy one to finish. Enzius doing it all right now. And were rewarded with a seven point lead at half time. After a quiet first half, Bogdanovic, who had 22 points on the night, found his rhythm in the third. Bogdanovic, what a difference the half time interval makes for him as Croatia ate in to Lithuania's advantage. Nevertheless, the Lithuanians held on for an 84-83 win to record their seventh victory in a row. Bologna was the venue for another pulsating Group J tie as Italy played host to Poland. Veterans Luigi Datome and Niccolò Melli made their qualifying bows in this must-win tie. Both teams started off on the front foot with AJ Slaughter finding his range. Pulls up for a tough three right in the face of Brooks Jr. And it's nothing but net AJ Slaughter. Although Poland were level with Italy after the first quarter, Amadeo Della Valle took center stage in the second and never looked back. Poland now just struggling to get a shot up, but it's good defense. Della Valle with a steal. Pulls up for a three in transition. It's good. Well, Della Valle, no way. Oh my lord! Yes, sir! Did I say no way? Why should I ever doubt? Amadeo Della Valle for his eighth triple of the night. Della Valle's qualifying record helped Italy secure a vital 101 82 triumph. The third fixture of the group saw Hungary pick up an impressive 74 59 away win over the Netherlands. The Dutch travelled to Lithuania for game day eight, with the hosts knowing a win could see them through to the World Cup. Lithuania took the advantage in the first quarter, but Shalon Kloof had other ideas. Against Kinraitis, and oh, he just blows inside, my goodness me! Shalon Kloof with the poster! It remained tight throughout, but it was Kloof once again who made the difference. They've got to foul as soon as they possibly can. They can try and steal, but they're better off just trying to foul. They can't close stolen the ball! Oh, he throws it home and ties the game for the Netherlands! What a defensive play by Shalon Kloof! The game went into double overtime, but it was Mantis Kalnietis. Ah, oh, he hits the three! That 
that sealed the vital basket on the night. Matzis Kalietis! A double overtime win for Lithuania. 95 to Lithuania, 93 to the Netherlands. Elsewhere, Italy took one step closer to qualification with a close-fought win over Hungary. Luigi de Tome, the difference for the away side as he grabbed 18 points as they clinched a 69-63 victory. And there was a big upset for Croatia's hopes of qualification as Poland got a massive victory in Gdansk. Despite big performances from Dario Saric and Bojan Bogdanovic for Croatia, it was Adam Vaczynski that helped seal the 79-74 win for the home side. And Poland have pulled off a massive victory here in Gdansk. This win sees Poland keep their World Cup dreams alive as they move into third in Group J. Lithuania are still undefeated as they booked their place to the World Cup, while Italy will have to wait for the next window to seal qualification. China were involved in an enthralling encounter in Group E as they played Lebanon. The Chinese had a chance to win it. Over to Iran and misses, and it's overtime. And Lebanon capitalized on that miss to win by four. Japan kept their hopes of qualification alive with a high octane display against Kazakhstan. Tinius Brown! Oh, he takes home and throws it down! Oh, over Ziggler! Oh my goodness, Ira Brown! Australia won by 52 points against Qatar. On game day eight, New Zealand won by a three point margin against Lebanon. Ricardo Ratliff helped himself to a staggering 41 points and 17 rebounds as Korea trounced Syria 103-66. And Japan recorded their fourth consecutive victory with a 70-56 win over Iran. With two points separating the first four teams, it's still all to play for in Group E. While in Group F, Iran and the Philippines give chase to topside Australia. Here are your top five plays from the Asian qualifiers. And so, oh, goes up for the alley-oop. What an unbelievable play. And now the interception. And McCarron, look at the passing, look at the passing. Oh, what a finish. It's all about being unselfish. Zai turns it over, Hachimura kicks ahead, what an army glides in for two more. That combo in transition. Now Ducker gets inside for the two-handed chair. Goodness me. As they find themselves down 17, here's Brown. Oh, he takes off and throws it down. Oh my goodness. Brown. Still to come in the show, there were some critical games and huge performances in Group L. We shed the spotlight on all things Africa. And we highlight our top five plays from Europe. It was a night of excitement in Group K as some of the biggest names in basketball took to the court on game day seven of the second round. Nicola Batum and Nando De Colo were in the France lineup again as they traveled to take on Bulgaria. But they didn't have it their own way as the home side kept them in check. Dimitar Dimitrov grabbing 16 points in the first half to take a slim lead into the break. Bulgaria needs some points on the board and they have that. Dimitrov gets his second three. A dramatic closing quarter saw the Bulgarians seal the upset win and hand France their first loss of the World Cup qualifiers. Bulgaria win a huge boost to their qualifying chances. There was a vital game in the Czech Republic with Russia the visitors. It was a tight first half as both sides looked to get an advantage. To Kvostov for three and that is exactly what the Russians needed. Vesely, oh, the thunder jam from Vesely! But after the break, it wasn't just Jan Vesely sending the home fans wild. He drives inside, blows the right hand, gets the right hand to go. Huge play by Sadoransky. Ice in his veins. 16 points and some standout plays helping his side to victory. 
the last game of game day seven saw Finland play host to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Sasu Salin was the star man for the Finns, grabbing 27 points, including six three-pointers. Takes it right away, hits a six triple. He's on fire. And despite a strong fight back from the away side in the final quarter, Finland sealed the four-point victory. The Czech Republic went into the second game of the window knowing that a win over Bosnia and Herzegovina could clinch automatic World Cup qualification. And the visitors got off to an ideal start in Sarajevo, leading 22-19 in the first quarter. But Bosnia were far from finished. Nice pass. What a pass inside to Kukanovic. As they trailed by just one point going into the half-time break. Yusuf Nurkic was a constant thorn in the side. Just doing a great job, Nurkic. Nurkic in the open floor. What a pass to Kakanovic. The twin towers of Bosnia and Herzegovina. As the teams were level going into the fourth. Thomas Satoransky had another outstanding performance just when it mattered most. Oh, slam dunk! His 22 points, nine rebounds and six assists helped the Czechs eventually overcome their Group K rivals with an 85-80 win and qualify for their first ever World Cup. France had the opportunity to make amends for their shock loss to Bulgaria when they took on Finland in Montpellier. Nicolas Batum and Charles Cahoudi netted 14 points each for the French. Batum, pump fakes, Cahoudi two for two, you count on it. As they cruise to an 83-67 win. Their seventh victory means that a place in next year's World Cup is almost guaranteed. We played a good game. Collectively, we played very well in defence and prevented them from shooting threes, which was important for them. We were a bit timid in the second half, but we finished the game well. Russia were also in action as an inspired performance from Alexei Shred helped them to a four-point win over Bulgaria. So here's how Group K looks as Czech Republic have booked their spot in China next year. France are in an ideal position to join them, while Russia occupy third spot. There was a busy schedule in Africa as 18 games took place with each team playing three times in three days. Senegal were in action on game day seven against Rwanda. Despite Rwanda threatening constantly... Oh, what a thunderous move going down on the baseline. Senegal composed themselves to win by five. Making his first appearance of the qualifiers, Salah Medri starred for Tunisia in their 15-point win over Morocco. The Tunisians then went on to qualify for the World Cup after defeating Egypt by 22 points on game day eight. The tie of the window, however, saw Nigeria go head-to-head -head with Senegal on game day nine. Nigeria already booked their place at the World Cup with a win over the Central African Republic. And they secured an emphatic 89-61 triumph against Senegal. So with two windows remaining, the undefeated pair of Nigeria and Tunisia have booked their place in China next year. Here's the top plays from Africa. And Al Farouk goes in for the two-handed jam on the break. Shot clock about to expire. El Malbrook. Oh, he banks it in. The bank is open. And it's Sunday in Tunis. Oh, what a thunderous move going down on the baseline and the slam dunk. Oh, Hamane Undai just posterized three defenders. And now he's got to go coast to coast. Oh, my words. Once again, with a massive rejection. The opening game of Group L saw the heavyweight clash between Greece and Serbia. There was no surprise to see NBA star Bogdan Bogdanovic see a lot of the ball for Serbia. Greece just playing solid. Oh, 
you can play him solid, but it doesn't matter. As he helped himself to 19 points on the night. The game was close throughout, but it was the Greeks who pulled away in the final quarter. Benzisi says some flashes it for two. The home side sealing victory by seven points to maintain their 100% record in the qualifiers. Elsewhere, Germany were hoping to continue their winning streak when they travelled to Estonia. And it was Dennis Schroeder who starred once again. Schroeder again on underneath the leg and service one-handed. What a play from the Germans. He finished with 18 points, 10 assists and 6 rebounds as Germany cruised to an 86-43 blowout. Georgia travelled to Tel Aviv to face Israel in an entertaining contest. The guests raced to a 12-point lead at the break. Here's Shangalia, throws down the dunk. Two-hand slam in transition. Only for Israel to rally in the third to leave them three points ahead going into the final quarter. Numbers here for Israel, three on two. Cohen, extra pass, Sega throws it down. But the Georgians won the final quarter by eight to seal an 85-80 victory. World Cup qualification was on the line on game day eight in Group L, as Greece looked to stamp their ticket to China away against Georgia. The host started the game off with a bang. Well, they go up high! Shingelia on the backdoor cup. The Greeks settled into the game in the second, but went into half-time down 11 with it all to do. Needing someone to step up and take control of the game, veteran point guard Nick Kalathes went to work in the third. Kalathes is 7-3 of the game. Gives Greece the lead once again. With just over a minute to go and down by four, Kostas Papanikolaou made his presence felt. And the three is good. One last chance for Greece. Kalathes finds Papanikolaou who lays it up for the win. Greece on the buzzer! With that last second winner, Greece remained undefeated and claimed their place at the World Cup. Germany also came into their game day eight clash with Israel with a chance to guarantee their trip to China. Both sides came out firing in the first quarter. Gets blocked! Get out of here! But Israel opened up a commanding lead in the second. It's up off the backboard! giving Germany a 19-point mountain to climb. The host started to reduce the Israeli lead in the third thanks to NBA star Dennis Schroeder. But in the fourth, Israel looked like they had the game sewn up, with Toma Ginat on the line. All he had to do was hit the rim. Well, Ginat better hope. With 0.4 seconds left, nothing comes to it for Germany. And the Germans had one chance to capitalise. Overrun! It's time to game up! We're going into overtime! I cannot believe it! Israel looked emotionally broken in overtime and Germany successfully booked their place at the World Cup. Group L's final game saw Serbia overcome Estonia, comfortably winning 91-65. That win sees Serbia move two points clear of Georgia in third. Germany and Greece both confirmed their places in China with their wins, leaving just one more place left up for grabs. Here's the top five best plays from Europe. Inside to Vesely with another jam! Jan Vesely with authority. The human highlight reel that is Jan Vesely. Against Gidraitis and I oh, just blows inside, my goodness me! Charlotte Clark with the poster! What a huge play! Shot clock down to five. Kalietis for three! He hits the three! Mantis Carly Lobs up, lobs up! Oh my god! It's turned the game up! We're going into overtime! I cannot believe it! The one last chance for Greece! Cut at this! Fights Papadikolaou who lays it up for the win! Greece on the buzzer! Greece! Win the game by one. That's all for this show, but join us again in November as we reach the penultimate stage of qualifying.
He's got numbers! I can't believe it! 0.4 seconds! Here's Osman on the key that's all the way to the basket for the dunk. Ilya Sova with the jam. Oh, he just flows inside, my goodness me! Kalietis for three! Mantis Kalietis!